10 Daily Habits to Build Muscle After 40 As the years go by, it becomes increasingly difficult to build muscle. But of course, it's possible to gain muscle mass. In today's video, you'll see the daily habits including diet, training, and lifestyle to build muscle after the age of 40. Come with us and subscribe to the channel already. Diet Number 1. Consume high-quality proteins at every meal. Lean meats, fish, eggs, legumes. Protein is the foundation of muscles. So, eating adequate amounts of protein helps maintain muscle mass and promotes muscle growth when you do strength training. Number 2. Ingest complex carbohydrates. Complex carbohydrates contain more nutrients than simple carbohydrates. They are high in fiber and are digested more slowly. This also makes them more filling, which means they are a good option for weight control. They are also ideal for people with type 2 diabetes because they help control blood sugar spikes after meals. Fiber and starch are the two types of complex carbohydrates. Fiber is especially important because it promotes intestinal regularity and helps control cholesterol. The main sources of dietary fiber include fruits, vegetables, nuts, beans, and whole grains. Starch is also found in some of the same foods as fiber. The difference is that certain foods are considered more starchy than fibrous, such as potatoes. Other starchy foods include whole grain bread, cereal, corn, oats, peas, and rice. Complex carbohydrates are essential for long-term health. They make maintaining a healthy weight easier and can even help protect against type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular problems in the future. Make sure to include the following complex carbohydrates as a regular part of your diet. Number 1. Whole grains. Whole grains are good sources of fiber, as well as potassium, magnesium, and selenium. Choose less processed whole grains, like quinoa, buckwheat, and whole wheat pasta. Number 2. Fruits rich in fiber. Some of them are apples, berries, and bananas. Avoid canned fruits, as they usually contain added syrup. Number 3. Vegetables rich in fiber. Eat more vegetables, including broccoli, green leaves, and carrots. Number 4. Beans. Besides fiber, they are good sources of folic acid, iron, and potassium. Choosing the right carbohydrates can take time and practice. With a little research and a careful eye on nutritional labels, you can start making healthier choices to energize your body and protect it from long-term complications. Number 3. Include healthy fats. There's also growing evidence that enough intake of good fats in the diet helps maintain the health of the intestine lining. Known as the intestinal barrier, it plays a crucial role in numerous metabolic functions, including maintaining the gut microbiome, nutrient absorption, and immune function. Fats are a type of lipid, which are molecules that don't dissolve in water. When someone talks about healthy fats, they're referring to lipids that, because of the specific types of chemical bonds that hold them together, remain liquid at room temperature. This is a category known as unsaturated fats. Fat helps provide energy to the body protects organs, supports cell growth, keeps cholesterol and blood pressure under control, and helps the body absorb vital nutrients. What more you need? Number 4. Drink plenty of water, 2 liters per day, to keep your body hydrated. Water plays a crucial role in encouraging muscle gain because it provides the necessary materials for building protein structures and glycogen, the body's primary energy sources. Not only does it allow for better freedom of movement, but it also helps to build muscles good enough to flex. Eat 5 meals a day to keep your metabolism active. Eating 5 meals a day is one of the biggest nutritional myths. Its proponents claim that eating them regularly speeds up the metabolism, regulates blood glucose levels, and helps lose weight faster. On the other hand, large and infrequent meals promote obesity, slow down the metabolism, and are bad for health. However, this is not confirmed by any scientific study. On the contrary, they suggest that, in many cases, Five meals a day do more harm than good. As mentioned, athletes who train intensely have very different energy needs, as do people with a large amount of muscle mass. More calories daily will be needed for these people to maintain muscle mass, hormonal optimization, and immune function, which can be compromised when overtraining and insufficient nutrition are at play. Furthermore, people who experience a caloric deficit for three to four consecutive days may benefit from occasional days where they eat more and more frequently. Number 6. Limit the consumption of processed foods, sugars, and saturated fats. Processed foods are not just microwave-ready meals and prepackaged dinners. A processed food is any food that has been altered in some way during preparation. Not all processed foods are harmful to health, but some processed foods can contain high levels of salt, sugar, and fat. What counts as processed food? Examples of common processed foods include 
breakfast cereals, cheese, canned goods, bread, snacks, meat-based products such as bacon, sausage, ham, salami, pate, microwave meals or ready meals, cookies, beverages such as milk or soft drinks. Not all processed foods are bad for you. Some foods need processing to make them safe such as milk, which needs to be pasteurized to remove harmful bacteria. Fiber-rich morning cereals, whole grain breads, and some low-fat yogurts can also be part of a healthy diet. Other foods require processing to make them suitable for use, such as pressing seeds to produce oil. Ingredients such as salt, sugar, and fat are sometimes added to processed foods to make their flavor more appealing and extend their shelf life, or, in some cases, to contribute to the food structure, like salt and bread or sugar and cakes. Workout Number 1. Practice strength exercises three times a week focusing on all muscle groups. For most people who want to exercise, a seven-day exercise plan usually seems to be the best plan. After all, the more you work out, the faster the results, right? But maybe you've already considered that a three-day-a-week workout plan could be a better option. If you're wondering, how should you do a three-day-a-week workout, the best thing to do is to look for or make an exercise routine that fits your needs and experience levels, beginner intermediate expert, exercises your entire body and gives you enough time to rest, recover, and build your muscles. Number two, prioritize compound exercises that work multiple muscle groups at the same time. When it comes to scheduling a workout, there are many ways to target multiple muscle groups. And even though there is merit in many different techniques, when it comes to being efficient, comprehensive, and frankly, simply fun, compound exercises are ideal. A compound exercise is a multi-joint movement that works several muscle groups at the same time. A good example of a compound exercise is the squat. It uses many lower body muscles, such as quadriceps, hamstrings, calves, glutes, as well as involving the core and lower back. Number three, perform the exercises with correct technique to avoid injuries. Do you hope to master an athletic skill? Whether you are an Olympic athlete or a beginner in the gym, one important element remains consistent. To succeed in any physical activity, you will need to understand and practice the correct form of workout. Proper form can prevent injuries and accidents in the gym and in performing everyday activities. Standing up correctly on a crowded bus, lifting a heavy box without back pain, or pushing your child's stroller in a steeper area will be easier if you use the correct technique. Of course, this is doubly important when practicing a workout. A workout performed correctly is a safe workout. Anything else can lead to risks or injuries. Number four, rest for at least one minute between sets to catch your breath. Normally, a rest interval of one to two minutes will allow for adequate recovery. However, you can focus on form while promoting muscle breakdown to induce improvements. Number five, do some light stretching after your workout to prevent muscle soreness. Stretching at the end of your workout can help increase flexibility, reduce the risk of injuries, and decrease muscle tension in the body. It can even help improve your performance the next time you train. But when you're short on time, stretching can sometimes take a back seat and it can be tempting to skip it. Stretching after a workout doesn't need to take long, and you can find shortcuts by stretching several muscle groups at the same time. By stretching your muscles after a workout, you help give your body a boost in recovery, while also releasing stress and tension and increasing joint flexibility. Sleep and rest. Number one, sleep for at least seven hours per night to ensure muscle recovery. For most adults, there is no known negative impact from sleeping at least seven hours, but since seven hours is the recommended minimum, sleeping just that amount doesn't leave much room for difficulties in falling or staying asleep. Sleep is essential for muscle recovery, and sleep deprivation can impair endurance and muscle strength, delay muscle recovery, increase the risk of injuries, and reduce muscle growth. To ensure optimal muscle recovery, it is recommended to sleep for seven to nine hours per night. Number two, create a regular sleep routine for more restorative sleep. Go to bed and wake up at the same times. Avoid caffeine before bed, maintain a comfortable room temperature, practice stress relief techniques, avoid alcohol and nicotine at night, minimize screen time, dim the lights, and block out external noise. Number three, relax before bed to avoid stress that can impair sleep. It's worth stating explicitly that relaxing before bed is important because sleep is important when we make small changes in our days and nights that positively impact our sleep, such as cultivating a calming bedtime relaxation routine, we'll have an easier time meeting our sleep needs. Screens are a triple threat to ending sleep. So, some habits to relax before going to bed involve reading a book, a great way to get out of your head without the side effects of reduced melatonin, 
One study found that 68% of people felt their stress decreased after just six minutes of continuous reading. From there, you can see how reading can improve the perceived quality of sleep. Listen to an audiobook or podcast. Similarly, an audiobook can give you a break from your own thoughts without flooding you with sleep-harmful blue light. Just be careful that the content isn't so engaging that you put off sleep to find out what happens next. Listen to soft music. Music has the power to mitigate our stress response, and even though the research isn't entirely conclusive, some experts believe that music helps with pre-sleep relaxation. Lifestyle Number 1. Avoid consuming alcoholic beverages, as they can impair muscle growth. Drinking alcohol regularly can negatively affect your performance in the gym, when you play sports, and in everyday life. Alcohol is a sedative that slows down functioning, it weakens hand-eye coordination, and slows reaction time. When you're active no matter what you're doing, all these functions are essential to keeping the pace and being aware of what's around you. Playing any sport requires a lot of attention due to the fast pace and the quick reaction time needed to win. Alcohol impairs your ability to perform at the highest level, costing you the entire workout or causing your workout to end sooner. And this can be more damaging if you're over 40 years old. Number two, do not smoke, as cigarettes can harm overall health and performance in workouts. Smoking is a habit known to have negative effects on various aspects of health, including fitness. But if you're over 40 years old, the effects can be reduced resistance. Smoking affects the respiratory system, causing inflammation and narrowing of the airways, making it harder for oxygen to reach the lungs. Reduced muscle mass. Smoking can also affect muscle growth and development. Nicotine and other chemicals found in cigarettes can decrease blood flow to the muscles, leading to reduced muscle mass and strength. Slower recovery time. Smoking can also slow down the body's ability to recover from physical activity. This happens because smoking causes damage to the body's cells, including those that help repair and regenerate muscles. Increased risk of injuries. Smoking can also increase the risk of injuries during physical activity. This is because smoking can weaken the bones and decrease bone density, making them more prone to fractures and injuries. Decreased motivation. Smoking can also affect your motivation to exercise. Nicotine, the addictive substance in cigarettes, can alter dopamine levels in the brain, a chemical that plays a role in motivation and reward. Number three, managing stress as it can hinder muscle mass gain. When you are stressed, your muscles tense up to protect against injury, and if they do not recover properly, ironically, this can cause injuries and unpleasant pains. With tense muscles, your room to grow is seriously diminished, and if you're in a constant state of stress, your muscles will never have the chance to truly relax. Stress forces your mind to wander, and this loss of focus just makes you feel as if you're going through the motions. Working on the mind-muscle connection in the gym will help you see growth, and if there's a lack of concentration, you won't reach your full potential. Number 4. Maintain an active social life to have more energy for workouts. In fact, being socially active can be as effective as exercise in improving mood and overall quality of life. Moreover, social connections also offer great benefits to your cognitive functioning, leading to a sharper mind as we age. Number five, be consistent, as results don't come overnight. You've heard this once, and you'll probably hear it a thousand times more. Consistent exercise is important for your health. But why is this the case? And why should we have consistent workout routines? Beyond the obvious, the biggest reason why exercise is consistent, and more importantly, consistency in training is all about injury prevention. Which of these habits for building muscles have you not yet implemented in your life? Being a man over 40 years old?